Welcome to this Tutor to You revision video that looks at why ecosystems are so important for us and the planet. This is part of Paper 1, Unit B, The Living World. Ecosystems are important for a variety of reasons. They provide us with a range of goods and services. We're going to focus on the goods first. Ecosystems provide biomass for energy where wood, plants or other organic matter such as manure is burned to create heat or be converted into electricity. Biomass is a renewable source of energy, however it does release carbon dioxide when burned, but it is much less so than burning fossil fuels. They also provide drinking water and water for domestic, agriculture and industrial uses as well as food for humans and animals. Additionally, ecosystems provide goods such as timber that can be sold and used in construction or to make furniture, which obviously has a large economic benefit. And finally, ecosystems provide many ingredients for medicines, as well as countless products such as toiletries, household chemicals and oils used in cooking. As well as goods, ecosystems also provide important green spaces for leisure and recreation, such as lakes for water sports, woodlands for walking, which are essential for physical and mental well-being. Additionally, they also provide natural heritage, such as beautiful landscapes, which are important wildlife habitats. These can be given protected status, such as nature reserves or national parks, which then can lead to opportunities with tourism that can boost the local economy. Finally, ecosystems are important for science and education in terms of conservation and learning about things such as the impact of climate change or loss of biodiversity. We are now going to move on to the many different regulating services provided by ecosystems. These include coastal protection, for example mangrove forests protect coastal zones from strong winds and storm surges and flooding. The tree roots act as buffers slowing down the flow of tidal waters which allow sediment to settle and build up as nutrient rich mud which then provides shelter and breeding sites for fish. They also offer regulation of water, soil and air quality. Plants act as a filter removing pollutants from them. They encourage soil fertility with ecosystems providing leaf litter for nutrient cycling, which returns nutrients back into the soil to be taken up through roots to encourage plant growth. Ecosystems are also able to store carbon, and plants particularly are important stores for this CO2. They take in carbon, which is used for photosynthesis, and they release oxygen. Natural carbon stores are very important in the fight against climate change. They also reduce the risk of soil erosion, Plant roots bind the soil together to stop it being blown away by strong winds or washed away by heavy rain. Decomposing leaf litter also stops the soil from drying out so much, which makes it less vulnerable to soil erosion. Ecosystems also encourage pollination. To reproduce, a plant needs to be fertilised with pollen from another plant of the same type. And pollen is moved from plant to plant by pollinating animals, such as bees and butterflies or the wind, so ecosystems encourage this pollination. They also provide water storage, so water is stored in ground surfaces such as ponds and lakes, but also in plants, in leaves, branches and trunks. Ecosystems also act as disease and pest suppressants, with those natural mechanisms that suppress pests and diseases, reducing the need for chemical solutions which harms habitats. Ecosystems prevent urban heat islands from developing. The natural vegetation provides shade and it absorbs less heat than concrete or tarmac surfaces, but it also releases moisture back into the atmosphere through the process of transpiration. This is why built up areas are often warmer than the surrounding countryside. And the final regulating service provided by ecosystem is that of softening the visual impact. So natural ecosystems often soften noise and visual impact of things like motorways and trunk roads, as well as new housing developments, and they also act as a natural windbreak. That concludes this Tutor to You revision video focusing on the goods and services that ecosystems provide. Thank you for watching.